And hello everyone! The Russian Championship in Rhythmic Gymnastics in the individual program has ended. From the end of February till the beginning of March, competitions for adult gymnasts were held. A separate video was released on my channel about the competitions among group and male athletes. And also in this video, I want to tell you about the results among girls. What medals were played, what stars were going on in Luzhniki, and about Irina Alexandrovna's comments, and generally a lot of interesting things. So relax and move on to the interesting. But first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, not to miss new videos. Your subscription button should be great. Well, let's move on to the results. During the competition, medals were awarded in team competitions, individual, all around, and the finals of 13 types. According to the result of the team competitions which took place in the first two days, they also qualified it for the final. Gold medals were won by gymnasts from Moscow. The team included Lala Kramarenko, Maria Sergeyeva, Yekaterina Selizhnova, Daria Trublinkova, Anastasia Guzinkova, and Maria Pabereshkina. Exactly Masha, who scored the highest number of points in the rating table in the team event, given that the sister Severina and Lala Kramarenko didn't participate in this tournament, and they received marks from the Grand Prix. The second place in the team competition was taken by gymnasts from St. Petersburg, while gymnasts from the Volga Federal District won bronze medals. In total, 115 gymnasts from all federal districts took part in the tournament. Only 24 best gymnasts reached the all-around final, including Sofia Gafonova, Vladislava Nikolaenko, Elizaveta Lugovskich, Kristina Tuletnikova, Marina Labanova, Anna Ivanova, Daria Prudanikova, Alina Prefelieva, Nina Alefrienko, Karina Kareva, Ekaterina Pintaleva, Ksenia Klimenko, Arina Tkachuk, Anna Sokolova, Arina Timoshina, Daria Sergeyeva, Anastasia Guzinkova, Daria Trubnikova, Irina Anenkova, Alexandra Skubova, Maria Sergeyeva, Maria Pabereshkina, Anastasia Simakova, Ekaterina Selizhnova, and plus three leaders of the national team. Irina Verona, Dina Verona, and Lala Kramarenko. So the all-around final turned out to be very tense and really interesting. The leaders here turned out to be unexpected and those from whom they expected victory didn't take root at all. So at three stages, Lala Komarenka was the leader, overtaking the Avernus sisters, which of course no one expected. But we shouldn't forget the truth that Arena first performed with a ribbon, for which they usually receive the lowest marks, and her leg was quite expected. But Dina obviously surprised everyone with her grades and academic performance. The start was clearly not for her. So in the end, after the last performance and the incredible score for clubs in 2019, and five tenths, which really look very frightening in some circumstances, which I will talk about later. But the fact remains, Arena Verona won the all round by a margin, but the second place was taken by Lala Kramarenka, who perfectly went through all types and clearly begins to break the system we are used to. That the Averna sisters are all with the first. This is what Arena Alexandrovna winner worked closely with the girl on. Well, the bronze medal was won by Dina Verna, who is clearly unhappy with her performance which was confirmed by tears after the performance. On the wall, in terms of intrigues, the Russian championship turned out to be very eventful. Firstly, in the all-around with Marx there was some strange first, and the first they were simply not shown to the heads of the national team, and in some point they were worn on sheets of paper to Irina Alexandrovna. As I understood, the assessments of the gymnasts in the head coach of the national team were coordinated according to the team, were put on their own. In general, it looked very strange. At some point there was an impression that it was Irina Alexandrovna who decided which mark to give, and not the judge. At the moment I have no idea what the joke is and why the judges in fact don't decide anything. At least it looked like that from the outside. I suppose that they could put marks for approval, since it was not their very sisters who were in the lead and the judges were simply afraid to lower them according to their appearance estimates. But what are we talking about then about the athletes? If even the judges are afraid of the head coach. Well, where is the honest and fair refereeing? I am obsessed by these facts. I still want to really see who wins, and is it surprising that the everyone they write that the Averna sisters are overestimated? Even if this is not done, the soil for such thoughts is very favorable. Write in the comments what you think about the judging and the long scoring. Maybe you have an adequate explanation. Well, after the leaders, Anastasia Smakova was in first place in the all around. The fifth place was taken by Daria 
Tobin Kalan. Yekaterina Slesnova took 6th place in the other round. Maria Pabereshkina in the other round final dropped to 7th place. Dara Sergaeva became the 8th, Anastasia Guzinkova finished 9th, and the top 10 in the other round was closed by Irina Anenkova. In general, from behind the curtains, different shots of not only the Avernus sisters appeared in tears, but even the tear stained face of Lala Kromarenka flashed. The children there are clearly emotional overlords after such a tense competitive marathon. Well, this isn't surprising. Irina Averna herself said in an interview after her performance that in addition to the motivation from the coaches, she and her sister with their competition also motivate each other to grow every day. And despite the fact that Irina nevertheless clarified that there aren't robots, but they try every day, sometimes there really is a feeling that these are hard workers who don't don't stop. The main thing is that the girls don't drive themselves to the Olympics, which is already very little, and they can drive themselves as happened it with Dina at this tournament. We are all accustomed to the fact that Dina is always in the lead and that all major starts are held as calmly and emotionally as possible, but this tournament is clearly an expectation. As Irina Alexandrovna said that the reason was the recent Grand Prix, at which Dina did her best and she simply had no strength left for the Russian championship. According to the head coach, Dina simply didn't have to play in this championship, as it was originally announced immediately after the Grand Prix. Then, in an interview, Irina Alexandrovna said that Averina's sister wouldn't perform at the Russian championship, but the girls expressed a desire and the head coach of the national team didn't refuse. At the end of the Russian championship, Irina Alexandrovna clarified that for such gymnasts as Dina, you need to choose a competition and not perform at everyone in a row, which is strange. Before, we haven't watched this for Dina and for her it was on the contrary, without any problems to perform start after start. It might be a long break after quarantine or in the tension that arises before the Olympics and young gymnasts who are getting closer and closer. Although, despite everything, Dina has already rapidly proved her place in the national team and that she is number one. Although now, given that it did at the national championship, the gymnasts are selected for the European championship, the question arises whether the first number of the national team is Dina. By the way, another interesting fact, when Irina Alexandrovna was asked about the European Championship, which will be held shortly before the Olympics, she said that it isn't a fact that Dina will go, as she is too nervous, so it will either be in the former to save her until the Olympics, or that she is so nervous and even more nervous at the Games, which means that someone else needs to be prepared. Well, don't forget by the way that last year Dina received a serious injury that prevented her from fully preparing. This is by the way can also affect her preparation and emotional state. In general, after the Russian championship, my opinion there were more questions than answers. Well, the entry now will definitely only grow who will represent the national team at all the main starts this year. About Lala Kromarenka, Erwin Alexandrovna said that she is very talented, but she has a complex character and also compared her with Lisan Utashua. And if you remember how they worked with Lisan, then you can worry about Lala. Lisan spoke rather harshly with the coach and always trusted herself first of all, and not the coach. Although you cannot say so about Lala's performances. After each successful performance, she always looks at Irina Alexandrovna, apparently trying to please her and see how the head coach reacts to the performance. Let's hope Lala's character won't harm her and terrible injuries will bypass her, because what is happening now in the national team with the competition is cool. At least it is interesting to watch it, unless of course it develops into health problems. Write in the comments what you think about Lala, her difficult character and work with Irina in Alexandrina. We won't harm her at the inter stage and will it work like with Alexandra Merkulova, about whom they said that she still has time until another Olympics and she ended up finishing early. Well, and a couple more interesting facts from the interview after the championship of the Russia. Arena was asked if she would like to perform under Morgenstern on what she said, that Arena Alexandrina would hardly like it and she doesn't see herself as a rep. But I have a question for you, and who would you see with 
something modern. I even wanted to dream up on this topic. Maybe I'll come with a separate video. Well, on March 10, Irina Alexandrovna promises to organize a new online tournament. First of all, according to her, for the group gymnasts. She again reshuffled the compositions and now they have three full-fledged teams preparing. So apparently very soon we will have competitions again. Well, until they started we needed to find out how the Russian championship ended in the finals of certain types. In general, the last day of the competitions was difficult. There were a lot of losses and the gymnasts were famed during the performance. But here I think, as we all already understood, the ball is ruled by Irina Alexandrovna and she does what she wants. But we can only put up with it and see who will win the next medals. In the final there was probably not so much surprises, in contrast to the all around. That the final with the hoop was won by Irina Averina, silver was won by Lala Kromarenko and bronze was won by Dina Averina. The final with the ball was won again by Irina Averna, silver was Dina Averna, and bronze won by Traria Trubnikova. In the final with the club, Dina Averna won her first gold of this championship. Silver was Irina Averna, and bronze in clubs was won by Irina Anenkova. But the final with the ribbon was won by Lala Kromarenka gaining a rather high mark for her ribbon both in the all-round and in the finals. Silver medal was won by Arena and bronze by Dina Averna. Well, don't forget to write the thoughts about which I spoke in the comments, there were a lot of stuffing and there is something to speculate about, so I am waiting for your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Well, we will see you in the next video, remember that I love you all very much and bye for now.